everybody. We're at the barn. This is Peanut. He's the daddy of Lollipop. And I know all of you remember Lollipop. He has been out all day today and he is dirty, dirty, dirty. This is what you call a curry comb and it has little prongs on it that don't hurt the horse, but they really get the hair off. So I'm going to show you how I brush it. Hold it still, Peanut. Okay, so when you brush them, you go the same direction their hair goes. And boy, will you see some dust flying. That tells me <coughs> he's been out rolling in the dirt. He likes to do that. Okay, and looky there. See all that hair that comes off? Yeah, that's why you brush them. Right now they're shedding their winter coat. He looked like a big teddy bear a month ago, but now it's getting warmer. So we've got to get that hair off and then he'll be ready for summer. And he decides he's going to walk around even though I have him tied up. Back, back, back. He listens pretty good too, unlike some other horses we have. Good boy. All right. Okay, so that's just a sample of woo, the curry comb. Now I don't use the same comb when I do his, his mane, because this would tear his long mane. I'm gonna grab the other brush I use. It's a little more like what we would use at home, but it's still the little, these are plastic prongs. They won't hurt his mane. Because that way he'll, he won't have split ends like, you know, how we can get. And it's just like we brush our hair, good ladies. We get it all going the same direction. Whoa. And his hair's pretty thick. And he also has some dirt clods in his hair right now. Oh boy, from all that rain we've had, these little horses had a lot of fun getting dirty to make more work for us. But they don't know it, but I don't think it's work. I think it's fun to brush them. It's one of my favorite things to do. And Peanut is pretty. Look how nice and thick his mane is. Isn't that pretty? See the dirt? I'll brush that right out. Just like that. Look how thick it is. See, he has a lot of hair. So I have to get underneath sometimes to get all the underneath dirt out. All right, he's just about done. Oh, don't eat my shoe, Peanut. <laughs> sometimes they try to do that. Whoa, okay. Now there's a special trick to doing the tail. You should never stand like this right behind a horse <clears throat> because their feet are right there and they can kick. So when you're brushing them, you stand kind of on the side and you pull the tail over so you're safe. And the closer you are like this, they can't kick. Now his tail, whoo, has a lot of rats in it. Not real rats, hair rats. So, and his tail's pretty thick. But I don't know, for some reason he really likes having his tail <coughs> brushed. Because he, I don't know, he loves it. So he'll hold pretty still. Sometimes I separate it into like separate little strings or strands. So I got that piece done. Now I'll just split it a little and go to this piece. And I'll maybe get some of this underneath stuff. Try to get it. If you brush from the bottom up, it works better because then you don't have rats stuck. Right now I have flies biting my leg. It hurts. I want to ride. 
Well, that may not be perfect, but it's a lot better than it was, wouldn't you say? Better. Wag your tail. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Yeah. Hi, everybody. We've, cut, we've brushed the mane and the body and the tail. Now we're going to do his bangs. So we're just going to brush them down like this. He's like, don't do my bangs. He's kind of like Peekle. He gets tired of being brushed after a little bit. Okay, I say that's good enough. Now we're going to take him out for a walk and you can come with us.